I know, I know, it sounds very cliche, but lifting has changed my life in a multitude of ways. And when I was younger, I was very chunky. I was out of shape. In middle school, my life was basically sitting in my basement, playing video games, eating Pop-Tarts, chocolate fudge with milk, and I really just didn't have much going on with my life. But then when I got into this whole lifting thing, there were a few things that specifically changed that led me down a path of just being overall much more successful in life. So in today's video, I'm going to talk about three ways that lifting has changed my life. So number one, lifting taught me the value of delayed gratification. When you go in the gym, it would be great if you saw results right away. And if you just went to the gym for one week and you had abs. But unfortunately, that's not the case. And with the whole fitness thing, to get in relatively good shape, it, for some people, could take years of consistency day in, day out, putting in the work, and it doesn't stop with just the gym. You also need to be consistent with your nutrition, and you have to do this for a very long time before you actually see beneficial results. And this is basically the definition of delayed gratification. The act of resisting an impulse to take an immediately available reward in the hope of obtaining a more valued reward in the future. And with the whole fitness thing, you are giving up the day-to-day -day reward of just doing what's comfortable, sitting on the couch instead of going into the gym, or deciding to go do something with friends rather than waking up early, going to the gym, and then going to do stuff with friends. Or you're giving up the immediate gratification of eating that very tasty food in order to, over the future, obtain a more lean physique or whatever your goals are. And in general life, this has benefited me in a ton of different ways. It has helped me a lot financially in which it's like, yes, I could take my current income and I could buy something today. I could buy that nice new watch today. Don't get me wrong. I think watches are awesome. Someday I'll have some cool watches, but right now it's not the best use of my money. And I think that investing my money now so I have more dollars in the future rather than just spending it all right now is one form of delayed gratification that lifting has taught me. And also when I taught myself to code, it very much so was a kind of practice of delayed gratification. I'm going to give up eight to 10 hours of my day today that I could be doing fun things to kind of just painfully teach myself how to code. So in a year's time, I have this valuable hard skill that I could potentially get a job for or develop my own things and different things like that that will be more rewarding than just this immediate kind of eight to 10 hours a day that I could be spending like watching TV or doing some kind of more comfortable thing. And this was a very valuable lesson that lifting taught me, delayed gratification and the value that can be in giving up immediate rewards for future long-term rewards. The second thing that lifting taught me was the value of discipline. Like I discussed earlier, with lifting and with getting fit, you have to be disciplined to keep showing up to the gym even when you don't want to. You have to continue to stick to your nutritional guidelines even when you don't want to and even when it's easy not to. And the only real way that you're gonna see results is if you remain consistent and disciplined and you keep showing up even when you don't want to do so. And this has made a huge difference in other areas of my life, especially when it comes to like martial arts. When I first started jujitsu, did I really want to keep showing up every day and just getting my ass kicked by people much better than me and getting strangled and arm barred by smaller dudes and just overall being put in very uncomfortable positions? No, I didn't want to keep showing up and doing that. But I knew that this skill would be very valuable to me in the future. And it's something that I really wanted to improve at. And then that wasn't going to happen if I didn't have the discipline to keep showing up every day. And lifting and getting more fit taught me the value of discipline and it allowed me to carry that discipline over to other areas of my life, especially when it came to martial arts. So the second thing lifting taught me was the value of discipline. And it changed my life for the better because of it. And the third thing that kind of lifting gave me was a lot of confidence. There are not a ton of guys out there. If you just look at the average general population guy that is muscular and lean and strong, 
that is not a common thing in kind of today's society. And when you become more muscular, lean, stronger individual, you become the type of person that shows up to the gym even when you don't want to and you have these traits of discipline and character and different things like that. I think that it gives you the confidence that you are that type of person and that in every other area of life, you can apply those things and you can make, make things happen and achieve your goals in life. And it might give you confidence in your relationships or starting different hobbies. Like if I come back to martial arts, lifting definitely played a role in giving me the confidence of, hey, I'm like a leaner, muscular guy. If I can't show up for martial arts, who can? So what excuse do I have? And it kind of gave me the confidence for that. So lifting definitely changed my life by teaching me the value of delayed gratification, teaching me the value of self-discipline, and then also giving me quite a bit of confidence and having that lead over into a bunch of different other areas of my life. All right. So thanks for tuning in. This email is below for coaching if you're interested in, and I will see you in that next one.